O oh God, come to my assistance. O oh Lord, make haste to help me. You are my rescuer, my help. O oh Lord, do not delay. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. In the silence of our heart, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are the Word made flesh, the splendor of the Father. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord, and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness, that for those who glory in you as their creator and guide, you may restore what you have created and keep safe what you have restored. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. The sons of Israel began to wail. Who will give us meat to eat? They said. Think of the fish we used to eat free in Egypt, the cucumbers, melons, leek, onions, and garlic. Here we are wasting away stripped of everything. There is nothing but manna for us to look at. The manna was like coriander seed and had the appearance of a bedellium. The people went out gathering it, ground it in a mill, and crushed it with a pistol. It was then cooked in a pot and made into pancakes. It tasted like cake made with oil. Then the dew fell on the camp at, mid at night time, and the manna fell with it. Moses heard the people wailing, every family at the door of its tent. The anger of the Lord fled out, and Moses greatly worried about this. And he spoke to the Lord. Why do you treat your servant so badly? Why have I not favor with you, so that you load on me the weight of all this nation? It was, was it I who conce conceived all these people? Was it I who gave, birth, who gave them birth, that you should say to me, carry them in your bosom like a nurse with a baby at her breast? to the land that I saw to give their fathers? Where am I to find me to give all these people when they come worrying me so tearfully and say, give us meat to eat. I am not able to carry this nation by myself alone. The weight is too much for me. For this is how you want me to deal with. I would rather you kill me. If only I had found favor in your eyes and not lived to see such misery as this. The word of the Lord. Ring out your joy to God all this uh, ring out your joy to God our strength. Ring out your joy to God our strength. My people did not heed my voice and Israel would not obey. So I left them in their stubbornness of heart to follow their own designs. Ring out your joy to God, our strength. Oh, that my people would heed me, that Israel would walk in my ways. At once I would subdue their foes, turn my hand against their enemies. Ring out your joy to God, our strength. The Lord's enemies would cringle at their feet and their subjection would last forever. But Israel I would feed with finest wheat and fill them with honey from the rock. 
Bring out your joy to God our strength. Please stand to greet the gospel. Hallelujah. 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 I am the way, the truth, and the life, says the Lord. No one can come to the Father except through me. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus received the news of John the Baptist's death, he withdrew by boat to a lonely place where they could be by themselves. But the people heard of this, and leaving the towns, went after him on foot. So as he stepped ashore, he saw a large crowd, and he took pity on them and healed their sick. When evening came, the disciples went to him and said, This is a lonely place, and the time has slipped by. So send the people away, and they can go to the villages to buy themselves some food. Jesus replied, There is no need for them to go. Give them something to eat yourselves. But they answered, All we have with us is five loaves and two fish. Bring them here to me. He said, he gave all this that the people were to sit down on the grass. Then he took the five loaves and the two fish, raised his eyes to heaven and said the blessing. And breaking the loaves, he handed them to his disciples who gave them to the crowds. They all ate as much as they wanted and they collected the scraps remaining, 12 baskets full. Those who ate numbered about 5,000 men, to say nothing of women and children. Beloved in Christ, the Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, the Israelite had knowledge of God. But the knowledge of God they had was not as perfect and full as the knowledge we have today. They had knowledge of God who was with them, but they did not experience the Son of God or God who came to dwell in our flesh as human, walking with us, eating with us, and providing all our needs. And so each day, we who are believers now must behave better than what the Israelites did. If we find ourselves behaving just like the Israelites did, then our knowledge, our experience of God is not full. Then we need to draw closer to God, learn more about God, and do better. Yes, they were human beings just like us. And we do things just like the Israelites. Why? First, the first reading of today mentions that they started complaining against God and even they extended it to Moses, their leader. Don't we do that now? We do. We complain against God. We complain against our leaders today. But listen, before they made this complaint against God and their leader, the complaint started from non-Israelites. Non-Israelites who did not believe in the goodness of God, in the greatness of God, in the compassion of God. And these Israelites who had known God joined this complaint. So unbelievers started complaining about God, saying God was not compassionate, that what God was not providing, that God was not that good. And people whom God had done greater things in their life also joined this complaint. And they started complaining against God. So they were influenced by people 
who did not know the greatness and the goodness of God. And in our world, sometimes we get ourselves into this. When people of no faith are complaining about certain things, we people of faith join them. When people without faith question God, we people with faith also question God. But our experience of what God does must, must be extraordinary, must change, must not be as pagans do, because at least we know God. We know his word. We know his ways. And that was, in a way, the fault of the Israelites, and in a way, our own fault. What did they further do? As they complained against God, they said, it would have been better to be in Egypt to eat the meat. And you know what? I believe strongly because they did not understand God fully. What was the manna for? The manna indeed was a temporary food. But the manna was to give in to the Israelites each day to remind them that God was with them each day. God would provide for them and God would be with them. But they complained that this manna is useless. So they were only thinking about the physical food that they were eating. They did not think about the fact that it reminds them that God is providing for them each day. God is guiding them each day. And so then we're not appreciative. What about us? Do we keep in mind that God is with us each day? Because when it comes to the New Testament, Jesus will proclaim, I am with you always till the end of the age. His name will be Emmanuel, God with us. To us, whom the Savior has been revealed to us, do we still remember do we recognize that he is with us each day? That he will provide for us each day. Friends, we can compare things, but to compare without improving and to compare only to complain is not worth it. If you compare to improve, knowing that, yes, indeed, yes, this has been my situation, but I know God will take absolute control, that is excellent. But to compare and always complain, always complain as if nothing is good in your life, friends, is to show ingratitude to God. Each day, I always say, when you rise from your bed, you are able to breathe. You are able to open your eyes. You are able to talk. You are able to say hello. Appreciate what God has done for you. But it's the greatest miracle that can happen to you. What else do you want? Life is more precious than anything. And this is indicated, friends, to us in the gospel when Jesus looks at the crowd. But first, what does he do? He preaches to them. He teaches them. So he serves them with the teachings. And then later, with his compassion, he gives them food. And that is what happens each time we attend Mass. Jesus gives us his teachings. He gives us his word. And then he gives us himself, the food, the bread of angels. That is our daily sustenance. And that is the basis for the Lord's Prayer. The manna and what Jesus does. Give us each day our daily bread. Give us this day our daily bread. And it is also based on the teaching of Jesus. Do not worry about what you wear today or drink. Because the Father knows what you need even before you ask. May God grant us the grace to be fully aware of his presence with us. That each day he cares. Each day he shows his compassion. Each day he provides if only we'll humble ourselves and come to him, seeking his presence and living out complaint. May God strengthen and be with us always. Amen. Let us now pray to God. 
and ask him for the strength and the grace to always seek him in our lives. In thanksgiving to God for the gift of this day, for the gift of our life, and for all his providence, we say, Lord, in your mercy, for the Catholic Church and the Universal Church, that God will continually sustain us in faith and provide all our needs that will help us to trust in him at all times. Lord, in your mercy, for those without food, for those without clothes, for those without home, that through our intercession, God will touch heart to come to their aid. Lord, in your mercy, for our young people, that they may come to fuller faith and trust in God, that they may not join unbelievers to doubt the existence of God, but with their constant encounter with his word and with the Eucharist, they may fully trust the God who provides. Lord, in your mercy, for the sick, the aged, and the lonely, that God will heal them, God will comfort them, and God will come to their aid. Lord, in your mercy, for this mass intention offered on the anniversary of James Pathros, that God will grant him eternal rest. Lord, in your mercy, in the silence of our heart, let us seek the face of God. Gracious and merciful God, answer our prayers and our needs with humility as we come before you and grant all of them in accordance with your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to Almighty God the Father. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for although you have no need of our praise, 
Yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of us, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna and Christ. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one, by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Alan, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. In the words of our Savior and joining him in prayer, we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all the stress, as we await a blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace. 
Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. I am the bread of life, says the Lord. Whoever comes to me will not hunger, and whoever believes in me will not thirst. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Accompany with constant protection, O Lord, those you renew with these heavenly gifts, and in your never-failing care for them, make them worthy of eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. The Mass is ended. Have a blessed day.